Okay, so I want to show you some tricks when you are using your Cricut and you're cutting out um, letters. So I just turned my machine on. And then I'm going to load my mat. Now your mo mat can load either way. There is an arrow saying you can load it this way, or you should load it this way, but you can load it the other way too. Okay, so my machine's ready, so I'm just going to load my mat. Now I could use the set paper size, but I know that I'm not going to go off the edge, so it's not going to matter here. So I'm going to dial my size up to 3 just to show you. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to push, I'm going to spell the word um, cat, so I'm going to use C-A-T. So it'll show up here. I'm just gonna dial it down actually because I want to show you something. Okay, so that should work. So I'm gonna go ahead and push cut. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm not going to unload it because I want to save time so I'm just going to go and I'm going to push the paper saver button on um, the left hand side and so I'm going to do that and then I'm going to push repeat last because I want to spell cat again just to show you what happens when you use the paper saver. So push cut. So I'm going to unload, and then I'm going to peel this off. I'm going to try and leave it so it's on the mat to show you. Okay, so you can see this is when I used um, just the regular mode um, and put cat. And this is what I used when I pushed paper saver. Notice how the letters on this one, there's spaces here. And when up here, they're all aligned to at the top. So on my paper you can see that when you use paper saver it's going to make it so you can cut more out of this paper rather than having a lot of waste up here in the top. So that's a little tip when you're using um, your or when you're wanting to print letters with your Cricut. I'm just going to load this paper again. Actually I'm going to try and load it on top. Okay so I'm going to use another quick trick and I'm just going to show you if you push load last it's going to go to the last place it cut and then I'm going to use my line return and it's going to go to the next line so rather than having to move my cursor around that's kind of a quick way of doing it okay so I'm going to take my paper saver off and now I'm going to show you um, what the real dial size looks like so I'm going to push that button and then I'm just going to go repeat last again because I want to show you the difference between regular and then the two other options. So I'm going to go ahead and push cut. So I'm going to go unload, and then I'm going to peel this back again, just to show you the difference. Okay, so this is the regular one without any options. This is paper saver, and then this is real dial size. Notice how um, the A is bigger and the C is a little bit bigger in this one. Um, that's because I have my settings set to 2 inches. Um, and so it's going to do the real dial size that I set it to, so it's going to cut two inches. Um, a lot of the Cricut cartridges, especially the ones with layers, have some, like, I'm trying to find one here. It's kind of hard to explain on some of these ones, but... Um, This 
isn't a really good option. I'm just going to try and find one here. I know the paper doll one is good. Okay, so I have the paper doll book, so I'll show you. Here's a good example. So, um, when I made my cut here, it scaled the size to whatever the main button was. So I pushed shift to get a capital C, so it actually scales it. If I were to just do the regular C, which was this one, it would be two inches. So everything um, scales, or every cut is scaled to this one at two inches. Okay, so this little girl, say I had her at two inches. Now if I were to cut this little um, teapot and cup, um, and I had the dial set to two inches, it wouldn't cut it two inches in height, it would cut it in scale to her, what she is at two inches. So if she was holding that cup, that cup would be um, to scale of her body at two inches. So if I wanted that teacup and teapot for um, a different project, and I wanted it to be two inches, I can push the real dial size button and it will cut it to two inches rather than to scale of the two inch um, little girl. So I hope that makes sense. Um, I just wanted to show you a couple of those little tricks.